up, guys? Mike Gross, RockingGuitarSense.com. This little big town with tornado per request of Mr. Tig, HE731. Great song. They write great hits. Good songwriters. Let's jump into this. Tune standard on this one. Um, live, they tune down a half step. That's not uncommon um, for any band, uh, regardless of the style. Usually, bands will tune down for the singer when you're performing and you're doing concert after concert, day after day after day. Um, it can be strainful on the voice, so these bands will tune down a little bit so the singer doesn't have to stretch as much for some of the higher notes. But this is the studio version, which is tuned standard. So you're going to uh, pick the second fret on the A, and then you're going to go open. You're also going to alternate pick this, so it's down, up, and then third fret E, and then quarter step bend it, just pull it down a little bit. And then an open E, and then set up the, the main chord throughout this is E minor, which is one of the easiest chords to do on guitar. It's 2A, 2D. And what I like about this is it's using what's called alternating bass notes. So you'll have a single note and then strum the chord, the notes underneath of the chord. Then a different bass note, strum the rest, a different bass note, the rest, and then back to the, another one. You'll see what I mean. Because the bass melody is going... And then after each bass note is a one strum down. So string six, and then string five through one, strum. String five, strings four through one. String four, and then strings three through one. And then back to string five, and then strings four through one. That's your pattern, man, for a big chunk of this. So we have. Johnny Cash played a lot of stuff like this. Johnny Cash. So you have. Instead of going like. Still cool, but this is uh, taking your, your strumming to the next level by mixing single notes, alternating bass notes with the chord. That's going to go eight times. This is one time. Okay? Once you hit the A, or E, A, D, A with the strum, you've done one time. Do that eight times. And start it with the... Okay? When it does change after that, after the eighth time, you go to D major. And that's 2E, 3B, 2G. And we're going to also alternate the bass notes on this chord, but it's alternating from a D bass to an A bass. So string four, and then strings three through one, strum, and then string five, and then strum strings four through one. And you'll do that twice. And then A major, which is 2D, 2G, 2B, and then hit string five. And then strum four through one, alternating to string six, and then strum five through one, and do that twice. So, okay, so we have. Cool, pretty cool part here too, because they're incorporating what's called hammer ons. Um, so, we're back at E minor. And then um, hit string six, and then strings five through one. You're gonna strum. Lift your first finger off the A string, pick that A string open, and hammer onto the second fret. You're just slamming it. And then pick string four. You're already setting setting down fret two on there with your middle finger. So it's subgrouping, man. You guys hear me talk about that in almost every lesson. And uh, that's taking a small chunk of something and going over it. They do this part four times, but um, you know you want to do it as many times as you can until you get sick of it and then a little more. So you would have. Oops.
chunk of Little Big Town Tornado. Um, if you have any questions, something's confusing you, ask it, leave it in the comments section. We'll see what we can do to clear it up for you. Remember to play this stuff slow, subgroup it, take your time, make sure everything's clear, man. A lot of sloppy players out there, and you know, guitar, you know, music in general should be fun to learn. Um, it shouldn't be like a chore, but um, how much better would it be to have everything sounding clear and right? So go slow with this stuff, guys. Um, if uh, you're not subscribed to this channel, go for it. Once you subscribe, you have all the benefit because you can send me your favorite songs and I will get them for you the way these bands are playing it. Get the tunings right. I usually use the studio versions, like I said, uh, but I'll get the strings and frets and all that. That's my motto. Is like I want to represent the way these bands are really playing them. Um, no one's perfect. And guitar players and bands change things up all the time, man. When they're touring and playing these songs hundreds of thousands of times, they do little things to change them up. And that's one of the reasons I like to kind of resort to the original form from the recording studio. Not always, but usually that's what I do. Um, my website, rockingguitarlessons.com, and that's coming soon. I won't give a date because I just know websites take a lot longer than I thought. And uh, Matt and Byron have been working their tails off, man, to get this website going. So I got to, there's still some things we got to get done. But that'll be $25 a month, very affordable to become a premium member. Um, I'm also teaching on Skype, guitar and bass, and we also offer vocals. My wife teaches vocals. Uh, my Skype name's Rock and Guitar Lessons. Only add me if you're going to be doing lessons. If not, if I don't hear from you and I add you after five or seven days, I'll just delete it because I'm doing lessons, um, you know, different countries even. All my Skype friends are actually students of mine. It's just easier for me to keep track of that way. And my rates are $50 an hour or $25 for a half hour. Um, so... That's really a great route because personalized lessons, nothing can beat it. You can learn off of YouTube. That's what you're doing here, right? And it's free and it has total advantages. You have all the benefit. But private lessons allows me, the teacher, to see you, the student, and see what you've established as far as habits and watch how you're playing and listen. And the other advantage is we can work on the things you want to work on, complete stuff from beginning to end. You can call the shots with it and you'll get no faster results than doing that route. Um, so, like I said, you can also email me, but if you're interested in the Skype lessons, go ahead and add me, and we can instant message that way. My email is rockandguitarlessons at hotmail.com. Um, if you're in a position where you would like to donate to this channel, it's much appreciated. Um, as you know, these are free, so and it requires, I'm spending more time on this than I am my paying jobs. Um, I just want to get it out there, and I'm loving doing this, and I meet some really cool people, man, along the way. So uh, my PayPal email is tvxpunk at AOL.com. Um, it just frees my time up to get to your requests and spend more time doing this. And ultimately, I'd like to pull out of one of my stores that I teach at and be more exclusive here. If you can't do that, it's okay. You can still request songs. Just make sure you subscribe to the channel and spread the word about me. Mike Gross, my website, you know, and this channel. Um, word of mouth, man. It, it, goes, it does a lot. So I appreciate you guys. Thanks for tuning in on this lesson. And uh, keep your requests coming. I'll just jot it down. I've got tons to get to, but eventually I will get to yours. All right, guys. We'll talk to you later. See ya.